12 seconds later. What's going on guys? It's your boy Harmon Reacts back again with another reaction. Yes, and today we're going to be checking out, you guys read it by the title, what if we built a tower to outer space? Dude, what? What if we did build a tower to outer space? Will it just float away? Will it tip over? Fall all the way to the ground? Who knows? That's what we're about to find out right now. Let's get it. Three, two, one. Bow. Let's get it. Would you spend a night at the top of the first tower to space? Hell yeah, I would. Who would it? At 100 kilometers above sea level, it would be the highest structure that humans have ever built. You this just tower imagine could if... house almost a million residents, but would that be worth the giant price tag of $25 trillion? Ooh, I don't know about that. Could humans even survive the extreme conditions at the top? Would the Earth's crust be able to support the weight of this massive structure? It should be able to. And... I mean, it's holding all of our uh, ocean water, so... <laughs> it should be able how to. How <laughs> could we prevent it from falling over? This is what if, and here's what would happen if we built a tower to outer space. When it comes to building a space tower, there are a lot of obstacles to plan around. That is true. First, there are the extremely cold temperatures that could freeze you to death. Ooh. Then, there are the Category 5 hurricane winds that could cause the tower to sway and fall over. Yeah, that's oh, not going to work. Did we mention there would be barely any air pressure at the top? So you'd likely get altitude sickness, which could kill you. Wow. But even with all those hazards, we still think we can build one safe enough for humans to stay in. Really? Want to see what it looks like? Yeah. Really well. Yes, it might look a little strange. Yeah, it but does. This is how we'd have to structure our <laughs> it looks tower like a pyramid. if we don't want it to fall over. If we didn't shape our tower like a pyramid, it would buckle under its own weight, tilt to the side, and crash to the ground. At yeah. 100 kilometers tall, this pyramid would need a base as large as the area of... Bro, who's producing this beat? Man, this beat is fire. Fire, man. Damn. ...of Hong Kong to keep it stable. It would also need a reinforced core to prevent it from swaying in the extreme winds found at the top of our atmosphere. At 70 kilometers above sea level, winds of 252 kilometers per hour can occur. Damn. And the top that... of our tower would be 30 kilometers higher than that. That's... Now that we've got a stable structure figured out, we need to find a way to transport people up to the top. Traditionally, elevators are limited to a height of about 500 meters. Bro, I, I can't... This bee is like... Who, who made this beat, man? Like, who was in the studio making this beat? I don't know, but it's pretty fire. <laughs> After that, they would be too heavy. So we're going to need something a little more modern, like magnet-powered elevators, for instance. Oh, wow. But even with those, we still would that work? super long elevator rides to go up and down. Yeah, that would be a long this ride. This would be a serious problem if we wanted our tower to contain residences and offices. One group that would be happy about these extra long elevator rides would be the advertising industry. Talk about a captive audience. For real, huh? <laughs> but before we go selling our elevator ad space, we need to see if it would be safe for us to go up that high in the first place. At the top of Mount Everest, right. the air pressure is dangerously low, about one-third of the pressure on the ground. And our space tower would be 11 times taller than that. If True. we didn't regulate the air pressure inside the skyscraper, you could experience altitude sickness. Right. And if we didn't regulate the temperature in there, you could freeze to death by the time you reach the top. Next, we'd have to figure out how to provide running water throughout the tower. It would take a lot of pressure to pump water up so high. Damn, I didn't we would think need of that. Hundreds of water reservoirs located uh -huh. on different levels throughout the building. 
these water reservoirs would be filled in sequence with each one being used to fill the one above all the way to the top. Right, right. If the residents were to use as much water as the residents of the Burj Khalifa do per day, we estimate that our space tower would use about 13 Olympic-sized swimming pools of water per day. Dang. That's a lot to pump That's up. That's a lot. That's crazy, and man. Even if we solved all those challenges, there would still be one underlying issue that could inevitably sink the whole project. I'm talking about the Earth's Whoa. crust. These beats, man, they're fire. Who, who, who's producing these beats, man? I gotta the know. Earth's I gotta crust know. crust is only about 30 kilometers thick with a soft mantle underneath it. Like a house on unstable soil, the tower would start to sink down into the ground over the years Whoa. as the Earth's crust would be unable to sustain its weight. So, for now, Maybe we'll just have to settle for the tall towers we already have. Or if you really want that nice view from space, you could always sign up to be one of the first space tourists. Space, yep. But... SpaceX. That's a story for another. All right, guys, let me know what you thought about that video. It was, it was really interesting. Uh, talking about everything about building the tower to space. Everything was interesting about it. But let me know down in the comments when you thought about that video. And also don't forget to leave a like and subscribe as it will help me out a lot. But other than that guys, it's been your boy Harmon Reacts. And I am out. Peace.